Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to uh, Subnautica. Sorry, I was um, miles away there. I was actually trying to plan out what we're going to do. We want to go and get to the Sunbeam thing. So yeah, we're, we're playing Subnautica. I've remembered that much. I, I do actually remember we are playing Subnautica. I, was, I, I wasn't trying to figure out if I was playing it or not. Uh, Cook Peeper gives me, it does give me H2O. I was wondering about that because it was it was saying that I wasn't getting any. So um, let me consume that one. And, and then we got cured, cured, and cured. And that's it. Yeah, and then I got some water. Right, so I'm carrying some water and I got some magnetite on me. Um, there was some things down here. We could get like range upgrades or something on here. I can't actually remember what they were, but I'm pretty sure they... Camera drone, uh, scanner room, upgrade needs copper ore and magnetite. So that enhances the range. Silver ore for that one. Then computer chip, that is the scanner room HUD. I've already got that one. So I want the scanner room range upgrade at some point soon. I'm not going to worry about it right now. What I actually like to do is I'd like to go and um, see the sunbeam thing. So we've got lithium there, uh, plus the gold and the lead and the magnetite. Those can all be stored. i got two batteries there ready to go. I've got a survival knife. Um, the coral tube samples, they can stay. Water and food I will take with us. Flare gun, laser cutter. we got the propulsion cannon as well. Habitat builder, scanner is there, uh, which is one that I want to put in this slot. Um, not the repair tool. Where's, where's the laser cutter? We're gonna put that one in there. Keep that one on. Keep that one there on us. Um, I want one of these. I'm gonna take the first aid kit with us, just in case we need it. We come out of there. And there's another radio message. Let's just see what that is. This is an automated distress signal from Life Pod 12. Coordinates attack. Warning. Life Pod has sunk beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Um, it is sunk beyond safe diving depth. I don't actually know what the safe diving depth is. I, I'm assuming it's like two, maybe 300 meters because we were able to go down to 300 meters. That over there is a Sunbeam landing site that is 1500 away from us. Uh, the cave wreck is over there. I got a camera down there and then over that way we've got the island. These beacons are absolutely magnificent. So we are able to um, mark everything out. You know what I could do, actually do with another solar panel on top of this thing? We won't worry about that right now. We're going to go. We're going to go and take our little trip. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hi. I love the welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, actually, I was thinking we're on 63%. Is that going to be okay for the trip? What do we need to make um, another welcome power aboard, cell? Captain. In the fabricator, and it's under personal equipment, isn't it? Power cell, power cell, power cell. Where are you? Maybe it's under electrical. Electronics. Power cell right there. Oh, two battery and silicon rubber. I've got silicon rubber. It's in this one, isn't it? Nope. Not in that one. It's in this one. Uh, nope, it's not in there. Uh, nope, it's still not in there. Um, there we go. I knew it. I knew it. It was right in there. I knew exactly where it was. Uh, I also need two batteries. We, we, we want to do that with flat batteries rather than the good batteries that we got. We got two fully charged batteries right there so I'm gonna put those two in there and I'm gonna take that flat battery there and then I'm gonna go in look in here and I'm gonna take that flat battery right there and I will use those to make the power cell we go into there and then it's electronics and we go to the power cell so I have a spare power cell plus I have two spare batteries as well which are back in here go into here and I got fully charged fully charged right uh, fiber mesh will get me another first aid kit. I've actually got one up the top. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to take that and I will make another um, first aid kit. There we go. Like that. Right. Now I'm good to go. I am definitely good to go. I got food. I got water. I got med kits. I got everything that a boy could ever possibly want to be happy in life. Um, we've got two fire extinguishers as well. Uh, fuel 100, fuel 100. They're both full. Um... Why? Oh, I dropped it. I just I just threw water away. Where did I put it? Is it just floating? Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm going to keep hold of that. I think it'd be prudent if I hold on to it. So, yeah. Now we can go. This way. And we want to go and we want to find... Oh, now, hang on. There is... I'm looking in here. There is uh, There's inventory for the ship. But I'm not sure how to get to the inventory for the ship. If I look like this... 
You got the, oh, you got the sea moth uh, down here. There's the power cell, like that. And then, if I look around, I enter. There is somebody said there is inventory for the sea moth. So I'm looking around. Uh, access upgrades there. Oh, uh, there, like that. Right, right. So we've got upgrade modules there for the sea moth, which we don't have those at the moment. There, there's something that we're going to be working on. If we can look around this side as well. Um, and somebody said that there was a, um, that there's actually inventory on the sea moth, but I don't see any inventory places. I'm looking round. Just says enter. I don't see any at the moment. I'm assuming that at some point maybe we will get it, but we don't have it at the moment. Doesn't matter. We're on our way. Let's go. There's those great big nasty things over there. And we've got some thermal vents near us. And apparently we can make use of those for things later on as well. This, um, it, it does something with the um, uh, power supply for our habitat. So we, we do need to make use of that later. I don't want to go too much into the shallows. Because otherwise I'm going to end up beaching my little craft here. And I don't want to beach it. Let's go this way. Uh, that is a big coral tube. Should we go through there? Should we risk this? Can we fit? Is it going to be crash fish in here that are come, going to come screaming out at us? Probably. Almost definitely. Do we care? Not really. We're safe inside the submersible. Oops, there's a whole load of gastropod type things there. Let me just steer around them. I don't want to risk um, putting the gas over this thing. Just in case it does actually do really, really nasty things to me. But I do need to be a bit careful that I don't crash into a wall with this because we could end up doing us some damage. There's a lot of kelp forests here. These kelp forests are actually bigger than I thought they were. We're only 490 meters away. We'll soon be we'll soon be at the sunbeam site. It's still got 10 minutes before it lands. So we, we got a few things that we can do. There's a lot of fish there. Oh, I thought that was another giant fish or something. Nope, that's not a giant fish. You are 300 meters away. Still, we still got a ways to go. There's a radio signal. I don't have a radio on me. We'll have to go and see what that signal is in a bit. <gasps> this is actual land. And look, there's a, there's something up there. There's actually a thing there. Is that is that the sunbeam? Is that the, is that what we want? Massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. It. Okay. I don't know what that thing is, but I'm liking it. I'm going to bring my pod up this way. I do want to go... You get out of it. Look at him. Savage little beast. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm, I'm coming out to get you. I'm, I'm going to use my knife, and I am going to stab you to death. Is he seriously attacking it? Go away. Savage little brute. Look at him. Where is he? Come here. I'm going to finish you off before I go any further. Where is it? It's gone. Uh, there he is. There he is. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where is he? Where are you? Come here. I just want to chat. I don't want to do anything else. I just want to talk to you. That's all. Come here. I don't want you attacking my ship while I'm gone. That's all. There he is. No, that's not him. You know what? We're leaving it. We're leaving it. We're, we're going to go up here and... He's, he's still on there. He's around here somewhere. He's attacking it again. Oh, no. That's, that's one of those fish things. Can I get rid of those? Can I kill you? I don't think I can kill you. You 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 don't look dead. Um Right, let's let's leave let's leave it. Let's leave it behind. The sunbeam will arrive in seven minutes. Um I got a scanner. And I have another island. I don't have a radio. I don't have any way of marking this point. This isn't good. How can I mark this point? I mean, I got all of those there. I got this. I, I should have brought myself a beacon so that I could mark this point because um, this this is absolutely awesome that we've got. And this is like proper land. 
Is that... I don't know what that is. But yeah, we, we've got real land here. Like proper land. I'm tempted to go home and then come back again. Very tempted to go home and come back again. What is that thing? Is that something... Is that the sunbeam? I don't know. I'm actually quite cautious about this thing. The sunbeam... Where's, where's the point of landing for the sunbeam? Come on, it's got to be here somewhere. I'm climbing up onto here. Oh, there's... No, life pod. Sunk the ocean bed a thousand meters deep. Good gravy. Um, we got one of those. No, the sunbeam... Sunbeam landing site is down there. So what is that thing? I don't want to explore this in the dark. I don't want to. I don't want to do this in the dark. It's got six minutes. Six minutes away. Um, do I have time to get back home? That's fourteen. I don't think I do. I don't think I can get there, craft something, and come back again in that time. And I also, I, I want to go and see what that is, but I also want the sunbeam to get here first, and I want daylight. I don't want to do this in the dark. Let me go into here. We've got uh, we, we've got this magical tool that will actually. Uh, I don't want that one at the moment. I don't actually need that one. So let's go. There we go. Light. Nailed it. Right. Let's go over here a minute. There is that crab thing. I'm going to have a little chat with him. <coughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Chat! Look, look, see? This is... <laughs> I'm riding him! Go, horsey, go! Uh, where is he? Oh, he's still there. He's, he's still alive. How is he still alive? Right, now I got him. But he was my little horsey for a while. And he was a noble steed. He was a very noble steed. It worked out wonderfully. Uh, but, yeah, what is, what, what is going on here? Let's take a look. So we've got this. This is something to do with those aliens. Yes, we, we definitely had... There was an alien thing here. We had that alien thing. It was that purple thing. Do I need to have the purple thing with me? Maybe I need the purple thing with me. And that would actually help. Okay, we, we've got four minutes until the sunbeam arrives. So let's go. Very carefully. Look over here. We've got that purple tablet. <gasps> is that another purple tablet? Huh? It is. No, it's a broken one. It's a broken tablet. We have one of these tablets. Purple tablet fragments. Scanning. Purple down da data downloads purple tablet. Right, let's uh I'm gonna just take a quick look at that. See what the data is. It's not voice logs, data bank. There we go. Indigenous life forms is probably not that. C. And regress shell is that one there. So we don't want that one. If you can hear banging in the background, it is my neighbors. They're busy doing some work. Um, there's not a lot we can do. Right, purple. This carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth in the exterior indicates it was banned in hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, there is no doubt, there is no obvious way to interface with it. Should nonetheless, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. Okay. Blueprint, power, thermal plant. Oh, we have that. Convert heat into electricity. We need to make one of those. So, the the whole purple thing. If we, if we got one of those, we can make a precise copy, apparently. Oh, there we go. Look. Ion cube and diamond. Right. So, we can make... Uh, why do we want to make purple tablets? Force field control. I'm scanning that. What is going on here? Data downloads. We seem to have got... A mystery going on here. This device matches no known technology and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed by the terminal to the nearby force field. Technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. Insert tablet. Right, so we need a tablet on here in order to be able to get in there. What happens if I go forward? Is it, is it going to hurt me? Oh no, it, it doesn't hurt. It, it just, it's, it's literally it just, just nothing. So there is a huge, great big, so I want to be able to make a mark on this structure. How do I, I want to, I want a beacon of some kind. How can I leave a beacon? I'll tell you what I do want to do though. I want to self-scan a minute. 
before we before it gets here, we keep getting things saying that we need to self-scan. So before the sunbeam gets here, I would like to do a quick self-scan just to make sure that everything is in tip-top condition because I keep getting this thing about self-scanning. Um, and it's you know, the bacteria infections and so on. So let me just, I want to go into here and like that. And I want to take my gloves off so that I can have a look. Oop, no, I don't want to do that. Right. Uh, no, my hands seem all right. Where's my hands? Hands. Doesn't seem all right at the moment. Let's press F. Self-scan. Infected. Wow. Okay, that's that's really what you want to hear when when you do a, a quick self-scan, just to make sure everything is okay. Um, infected is really the word you're looking to come up on on the monitor, isn't it? it? That's really going to inspire you with confidence. It has not inspired me with any confidence at all. Jail. Okay. Maybe it's oh, that's lithium. I was gonna say maybe it's not a complete loss. We 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 may get loads of cool stuff. There's more al- Wow. Okay, the alien thing goes a lot bigger and deeper than I thought. It goes right into the mountain. Right underneath me. What is that? Uh, there's a blue thing down there that's doing strange things. I don't know what it is, and I don't really like it, and um, I'm going to leave it alone. There's, there's lots of stuff going on. Right, the, the aurora is here very soon. There is... I can hear I can hear noise. What's going on? Is that me? Is that the Aurora? Can, can uh, am I the only one hearing this? Please tell me. I, uh, please tell me that you can hear this as well. And it's not just me. What is that? Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards... What is he doing? Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? What? What? Seriously, what is going on? Hold on. No turning back now. No. Positions, everyone. Is that, ha is that what happened ten, to us? Nine. Eight. No. Now the, no, you gotta... It's, that's my ride home! It's Don't you dare shoot it! No! That's my that's ride home! What are you doing? Uh. But I was I I was going to go home with that one. There's something whizzing towards me. And I don't really care anymore. Um, I might care in a minute. Oh no, it's, it's, it's burned out. Seriously? What? I, I, well, I, yeah. I'm guessing this is what happened to our ship. This is what happened to us. And it's what happened to the other ship. What's wrong with this place? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Look at it. Locked in place. Okay, that didn't look like a gun when I first looked at it. Ooh, tablet. If I'd found this just now, I could have turned this thing off before it started. Force field, the, the purple tablet, the, the force field. We're going in. We're going in. Right over to here. Right, we go over to here and insert tablet. Yes. You. Force field control. Right. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. In Tay Gritty. I love the way she said in Tay Gritty. That actually sounded very, very cool. Uh, force field control. Um, you just killed a load of people, Mr. Alien Structure. And my you, 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 you robbed me in my ride home. Um, that's the bit that I'm most annoyed about. What is that? 
I'm more annoyed about the lack of ride home than I am about anything else. Um, what is this place? It's all strange and alien. Ooh, okay, there's something over here. What is it? And there's something up here. Seek fluid intake. Okay, I can do that. I, I, I can do that. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, let me do that again. Um, another one. Yeah, that'll do for a minute. What are you? You must be the con data terminal. Unknown, Unknown language. language. Attempting translation. Data downloads. Alien data terminal. What is this place? Okay, this this is wicked stuff. This is this this has gone way beyond what I thought it was. Right, terminal, uh, alien data terminal discovered inside alien facility. It was not possible to translate any useful information over scans for returns of information on the device itself. It is like a solid state computer, although there was no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is unlike it is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and communicate back. The mental process, processing, however, required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment. Further research required. Uh, okay. Maybe the finish of this story is that we become more advanced human beings. I would actually like to be a more advanced human being. I think I would cope well as an advanced Your human being. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Okay, there is a control room somewhere down here that we need to find. But why is it shooting stuff that comes to the planet? It shot us, and... Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Okay. There's nothing to scan. Oh, there's another data terminal over there. Let's go and see that one. What is this? <gasps> Ooh! Ion cube! Nice. I don't know what it does, but I'm keeping it. I'm hoping that it doesn't do any bad things to me. I'm really hoping it doesn't do anything bad to me. Um, let's just keep looking around. We're going to keep exploring. Data terminal. Download the data. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Enforcement platform schematic. Uh, no, I don't want you. I want... Right, here we go. This data appears to be multidimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. The facility's unknown construction materials identified as an ultra-hard non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the design is intended to harvest the planet's natural thermal energy. The facility consists of the upper engineering section where this schematic was found and the control room, which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Did you all understand? I will be asking questions at the end of this lecture. Um, okay, what's this? That it? No, 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 no! Oh, I didn't want. I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to fall down here. I was just looking. I was just looking. I'm sorry. Why am I apologising to inanimate objects? Okay. That was wicked. I want an elevator like that in my house. Can I? <laughs> it works. Yeah, baby. Oh, I want an elevator like this in my house. This is so cool. Just turns you into a floaty thing. Oh, I am going when I when when I grow up. When I grow up and I get big and I have my own house. Well, I do have my own house, but when when I get big and I have a bigger house. I want a floaty thing like this. I want to be a floater. Look at this. And you just 
Four. Weightlessness. Steady and controlled. Weightlessness all the way down. Becoming your very own floater. That is fantastic. I love it. Force field control. Uh, we'll leave that one alone. And, ooh, there's water. Uh, let's force field control there. Um, what else is around here? So th there's there's water there. There's water. What is in here? Th there's oh, there's more stuff. I'm bypassing the pool at the moment. I'm wondering if I should or shouldn't bypass that pool. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Alien rifle. I don't know what you are, but I definitely want to be a part of it. Data downloads, alien rifle. Press tab to view. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. This device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens have built this structure with themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Do we have... Oh, we've got the ion cube, high capacity, alien energy source. Blueprints. Do we have the gun? The alien rifle. We've got a stasis rifle there. Is that the one? Is that, is that the one? The stasis rifle. Uh, Cyclops. Bits. Thermal plant. There we've got battery charger. And the command chair. Oh, that's it. How disappointing. Uh, okay. So we've got those. Let's have another look around. I'm, I'm wondering if we should go to that pool. That pool seemed to be... I don't know which way to go. I'm lost. Dazed and confused. Let's, let's, let's grab the ion cubes. I'm taking ion cubes with me. They feel like they would be important. What is up this way? This is a, this is a big room. This is a big room. And there is a terminal here. What does that do? And let me have access to something else. The purple tablets. The purple tablets seem like they're useful. Uh, what else have we got? We got anything in here? Oh, here we go. What's this? Alien device. Uh, looks like it's scanning me back, to be honest. Doomsday device. I don't know that I should be trusted with a doomsday device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Yeah, I'd say that was fairly fortunate. It, it can destroy... That thing would fit in your pocket, and it can destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Do you understand what they're telling you? the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway right well if that is beyond the doorway i still want to find out what the um the other bit was that there was another there was another place i was in the water there was in the water there was another bit down here i i don't want to go into the control room until i've looked at that so there was water over this way i i just want well, i'm going to dive into the water quick and we're going to have a look down there and then i also wanted to let's just take a look in here Okay, that goes. I'm not sure I want to be going this way. That looks like it goes outside. And there may be some nasty, scary things out there. Do I want to go out this way? You know, I'm thinking I really don't want to be going out here. I really, really don't like the feel of it. I, I don't know. There's something very incredibly, monstrously creepy about that exit there. Okay, so I, I'm not going back out that way. I feel like I'm being watched. I still think there's going to be claws coming up. They're going to come out of the water and they're going to stink into my back. Any second now. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Let's run. We can run all the way over here. Now, down this way, there was one other bit. Before we go running back upstairs, there was another bit in here. We saw it here. It was this way. This. What is this? Ooh. Okay. Uh. Alien arch. That is. I'm gonna say this is some kind of teleportation device. Alien arch. What does it say? 
Structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories on function, ceremonial religious role, industrial applications, advanced transportation network. Further research needed. I would say that that is uh, Looking at it. Looking at the room. I got my money on that being some kind of teleportation device. What teleportation device it is, I don't really know, but uh, I'm sure we will find out. Let's go up to the control room. Up to the control room. I gotta say, when I started playing today, I did not expect to be trying to uncover alien mysteries after said alien mystery destroyed my only ride home. I thought that maybe I was gonna go to the Aurora and that was gonna be about it. I definitely did not see this coming. This is, this is getting deeper. And I love when stories take a twist and when things start to get deeper. This, this is just awesome. This is just fantastic. I cannot tell you how pleased I am that things are going the way they are. Right, let's go and have a look over here. We've got a insert tablet. We'll put that one in there. You in? It looks like it's magnetized on there. It's some sort of um, like force field pulling it in as well. Right, on we go. We may as well keep going. In for a penny and in for a pound. So we may as well. If we go, if we're gonna go in for a little, that basically that saying for those of you who are unfamiliar, that that saying basically means if you if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, you may as well do it all the way. If, you, if you're gonna go in a bit, you may you may as well go all in. There's no point in doing things by halves. Right, there doesn't seem to be anything down on this side. I'm just gonna run around like a lunatic. Um, I'm getting this sense of security about the place. Um, I, I don't feel threatened. I, I don't feel my personal safety is being compromised at the moment. I'm beginning to think that maybe this is a false sense of security. Ooh, hello. Interact. Energy core. I'm going to scan the energy core before I interact. I've got a feeling interacting may be dangerous. There we go. Let's just see what it says before I interact. Uh, I can't see anything there. There we go. This device houses energy equivalent to a 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Well, that might dis explain what happened to us. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. So there is what happened to the Aurora. There is what happened to the, um, is, uh, hang on, Degassi. Degassi, Aurora, and now the Sunbeam as well. This is what happened to it. So let's, let's try interacting. Are we going to regret this? Oh. Um. Ah, no! What are you doing? Hurt it! Hurted me. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Uh... Okay, infected individuals cannot disable the weapon. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. Okay. Alien facility locations. Right, basically, my conclusion is they have a doomsday device on here that malfunctioned. They were going to destroy this planet and most of the solar system with it. You cannot disable this device if you are infected. So there is some bacterial infection present on this planet that was deemed incredibly dangerous. And I mean incredibly, incredibly dangerous by this amazingly advanced race. And this bacterial infection is so dangerous that they actually took steps to set about the complete and total annihilation of the planet and the solar system it was in in order to ensure said bacterial infection couldn't spread. Something has happened though. The doomsday device malfunctioned and the people aren't here, but we can't disable this. So, what have we got? Codes and clues. Alien facility locations. Disease research facility depth 800, location cave system with extensive fossil record southwest of enforcement platform, function life specimen study. Thermal power facility, depth 1200 meters. Sanctuary A, data corrupted. Sanctuary B, data corrupted. Offsite laboratory, data corrupted. Primary containment facility, data corrupted. In event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will automatically be enforced with immediate effect. Quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to spread the... to 
prevent the spread of infection off world. Okay, we have got some serious stuff going on around here, ladies and gentlemen. There has been some serious stuff. There is, like like I said, that, that's my conclusion. That is what I think has happened. And data so far, the, the data downloads do seem to back this one up. Uh, life pod sunk to the ocean bed over there. What else have we got? The facility, it doesn't actually say where the facilities are. There's all my stuff. There's a life, uh, 250 meters away from here. So, actually, that one sunk to the, to the bed floor, uh, to, to the ocean bed. Um, but, even though it's sunk to the bed, um, it's only 250 meters away from here. So, we should be able to find this place again. I, know, I don't know that we're going to need to. So, this one here, this doomsday device didn't work. Malfunctioned, it didn't work. It was supposed to blow up the entire planet. This here stops, this facility here stops all craft, every single craft from coming into or leaving this planet, right? It defends the entire planet. It can twist and warp the energy right the way around the entire planet, defending everything. And that is some kind of teleportation device, I'm assuming, to go from here to the other facilities. I think that maybe we need to find the other uh, facilities to be able to unlock it. That's my theory. Right. Is that we've learned a lot. We have learned a great deal. I don't want to go out that way. That way um, makes me nervous. It really does. Well, it, mainly because it was dark out there. I'm going to go out this way. Force field control. I do anything with that. We'll go, we'll go back out this way. We'll take the lift. I love this lift! I love this lift! And I'm loving this game! Oh my... Goodness gravy me! I was trying to think of a word then that I could say that would convey just some of the... Just overwhelming wowness I'm feeling about this right now. This is just amazing! Absolutely, 100% astounding, amazing, incredible... There's noises. Noise. What is that? Oh, it's that. Oh, that made me nervous. That 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 made me a tad nervous. Right, we've got two ion cubes from here. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we grab that. Just look in my um my bag here a second. Right, I got two of these ion cubes. There is another one there, which I will take. We need the ion cubes to make the tablets. We can make the alien tablets with those ion cubes. And the alien tablets seem to grant you access to facilities. So if we're going to be able to find the other facilities on this planet, we're going to need more of those tablets. We've got one, but it would be prudent to make more, I think. We can use those um, uh, the energy cubes to do that. Uh, we may need to do more, but here we go. We've made it back. Made it out. Right. Force field control. That is the most amazing thing. I genuinely did not expect this to be happening. So basically, this entire planet is currently under quarantine from an alien race so advanced and sophisticated that they are completely, you know, they are way beyond anything that we know. Anything beyond we've ever been able to accomplish, they are, that it's just incredible so they're way way beyond us we know this i don't have anything to mark the location of this island i need to be able to mark the location inside right that one over there is 250 meters away from us and is that way so we're going to use that as the location beacon marker i'm going to jump into the sea moth and we're going to go around the other side there was a thing oh hang on there's a cave here what might be what is in oh uh uh Right, there's those. There's a crab over there. Seriously, what is wrong with you? These crabs that they they they, they um that they do make me nervous. That I I get like um, I I do feel nervous around them. But I, I know I can take them out. But at the same time, they do. I don't know. They they give me the creeps. There's something about them. It's like they've got a um a hive mind. It's definitely a hive mind sort of thing going on with these crabs. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, come here, crab. You and I are going to have a little chat. Where is he? 
He's over there. Come here. Don't go up there. I, I hit him. I definitely hit him again. <coughs> get him, get him, get him. I need I need a I need a stasis rifle, I think. I think that is I think that is what we need. Right. I've got a little bit of fluid left. I got Vital one of those. I'm also going to use the first aid kit. Uh these are they, they take water away. I don't have any more water. That's all my water. Have a look. Ooh. Okay, this cave was worth the visit. We've got some stuff here. Shale outcrop. We got diamond? No, we got gold. I'm disappointed with that. I wanted diamond. We want more diamond. There's lithium. More lithium. Well, I got lots of lithium. Lithium. I suppose lithium is good. Uh, I don't want to run. I want to walk. Now, let's, let's look around. And look around carefully. I don't want to rush into anything here. Now this, I suspect, is a genuine real island that we have found. And it is not a floater. Ooh. Although there is an underwater cave here. That, it, what is that on the wall? Is that, that's, that seems like an alien symbol. Seems like several alien symbols. I can hear things and I can hear noises that are genuinely making me nervous. They really are. They are. They are making these noises are making me nervous. So we can come back here. We got that wreck underneath us that we can sort of use as a bit of a marker, and we'll put a beacon down here next time when we come back. Um, is there anything else in here? Is there any more stuff that I want to gather up just before I leave? I don't think so. <coughs> Seriously, that wasn't much of a drop. You need to man up a bit. Uh, anything else? Nope. That's about it. I think we I think we're good to go. Uh right. Oh hang on. Looks like it goes deeper. There's a crab over there. I'm looking round. Um I'm so I'm so nervous about sort of dropping down into this. I'm not going to. I'm I'm gonna chicken out. I'm chickening out. Unashamedly chickening out. I'm gonna grab that lithium though. It's never gonna hurt. And I want to go... Where, where is my Seamoth? The Seamoth is over there. I think it's this way that I need to go. We go back through here. We will go to the Seamoth. We will head home. And everything will be tickety-boo. We will all be safe. Everything will be fine. And that will be the end of it. So as I head back home, I'm going to say fare thee well. There's, there's another one over there. I thought I'd killed you all. Apparently I haven't. Oh, but there's a Bulbo tree here. And these... Will give me, not you. Oh, what? Can I do anything with this one? Uh, no. Can I do it with this one? Can I power him away? Can I, let's see if I can grab him. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, that is the way to do it. Oh, that is brilliant. Right. Uh, the Bulbo tree. I'll take a couple of slices off of the Bulbo tree. And I go in here. This should give me H2O and food. Does both. Let's eat those up. And I'll do that again. Two more of those. H2O and food. There we go. And do it again. Right. And two more. And then we're good to go. Take you two. And you, and you. Right, there we go. Water and everything. We're all back up to max now on the, on, on the food and the water and stuff. So it, this is all good. Uh, Self-scan. Right, no, it's not those. Those plants don't scan. That's it. Right, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. We are going to go just before I leave. What is that? What is that thing? I don't know what that is. It definitely doesn't like me, though. Where is it? Where'd it go? There it is. Right, I don't really know what that thing is, and I don't really want to scan it. I'm going to run away from it, because I'm now down to 53 health. And I'm going to leave. So I'm going to head back home. And I will meet you back there in the next episode. We have got so much to do. Our first task is going to be exploring the Aurora. 
um, so that we can get to deeper depths. There's, there's, um, I believe there are bits in there that we can find to create craft that will let us go deeper. Um, and then we're going to come back here. We're going to explore more of this. Uh, we're going to uncover this mystery. It looks like we're infected as well. There's more of those things over there. There's two of them. Okay, I don't want to get too close to them because I've already taken quite a bit of damage from them now. Um, we need to get to the bottom of this mystery and we need to be able to cure ourselves of this so that we can switch off the thing that is constantly attacking everybody that comes near and then um, we can escape. But... Whilst escape is great and all. Now, is this one that we've explored already? Life pod 3. You know, I don't actually know if I've explored life pod 3. Just look around. I think it's safe to get out. I uh, think I have. This looks like, yeah, I've, I've already opened that one and I've explored that. Um... Right, it look yeah, it, it does look like I've explored all of this. I'm going to just have a quick scout around here uh, because people tell me all the time that I've been missing things and so it's very likely that I missed something around this wreckage. Although, I don't see anything. Seem to be anything that I've missed. Uh, no. Yeah, we need to we need to find out what this disease is and what the bacteria is because if it's so dangerous that a um, an alien if an alien um, civilization of that kind of power was that nervous of this place that they decided to you know completely isolate the planet and destroy absolutely everything coming or going in order to protect you know, prevent the bacteria from getting on this planet. It must be pretty grim stuff. It must be pretty nasty. In which case, we don't really want to be a part of it. We don't really want that to be... Um, we, we don't want to be responsible for spreading that out and destroying the whole of humanity. So, with that in mind, maybe we ought to think about seeing if there's a way to cure this bacterial spread across the entire planet. I'm wondering if those gastropod things... Is it, is it anything to do with their tails? I don't know. But we did see... I remember now, I seen a sand shark and he had these bright green things all over him. The whole sand shark, he was like covered in these bright green dots. And I didn't pay any attention to it, but now that I'm thinking that maybe that was something to do with this bacterial infection. We'll have to see. Many, many mysteries all to come next time. Well, let's say next time. We we've got a long way to go. We've got a really long way to go. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Rithgar. Goodbye and see you later.